Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn mod. We are playing the delightful British Empire, and monarchy has taken hold, and we're going to unite the entire world. And by that, I mean NATO has completely kicked us out, and we've been wrecked. It's unfortunate, but it's okay, we've not been wrecked, it's just the fact that NATO, you know, don't like us anymore. But we're just about to invade Ireland. There is a tiny, tiny chance that they may join NATO or CSTO, and if that happens, the game is, like, over. But I will still make it work. So we're going to declare war on them. We're going to go to war, because we must unite Britain. We're going to... I think this is going to work. We're going to do it. Let's go. We're going to push down south towards a Dublin Arita Doodles. Okay, you need to be going there, my friend. You can go to Galway and Cork. Also, we're at war. Let's make sure we take uh, the partial mobilization. We cannot afford a war economy just yet because you don't have the political power. But, holy Christ. Can you guys just take a look at partial mobilization? Oh, I kind of want to just stay at war for as long as possible. If I just stayed at war for as long as possible, I might actually be able to afford war economy. There's an idea. Okay, let's just not let's just not take that. See, we have to take Dublin, of course. Let's see what I've done this. And some of my streamers just commented that I have indeed had a haircut and a uh, bit of a trim. This is indeed true. Yes, yes, yes. Because it could be cool. Because, I mean, obviously, let's, let, let's take partial mobilization now anyway. So to get the next one, I have to have war economy. So to get war... So, so I need war economy. So I need 150 political power. I'm currently on 31. I get plus 1.44 a day. So that's basically... Uh, oh my god. 10 days is 14. 100 days is 140. It's going to take about three months of war to do this. So if I can just stay at war for three months, we'll be okay. Awesome. Basically, it's just cork at this point, though. That's the thing. So we don't want to take it just yet, because I'd like to try and get war economy. Just wreck their face a little bit here. Hello. So yeah, for war economy, I need to be... Uh, either I need to be fascist, which I am not, or it needs to be 75% world war tension, and it is nowhere near that. So I don't want that at all. So we're just going to wait a little bit. Yeah. Look at that political power, though. It's 1.44. It's amazing. Nice. We'll just keep that in Dublin. I just hope they won't uh, declare war on me. Or join NATO or whatever. That would be unfortunate. Oh. Look at that. They've reinvaded. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, you should be fascist. I'm not playing fascist today, though. I'm playing something different. Direct ground support. Is there any more of this? Sorry, guys. I am uh, for those on YouTube. I am, of course, speaking to replying to some comments um, on my stream. So yeah, basically, I am playing this entirely monarchist, my friends. We're just gonna completely wreck face. We're getting that political power, though. We just gotta wait a few months. So now we're actually at two point four three a day. I need one hundred more political power. So in every ten days, I make basically twenty five. Let's say. So it's just 40 days. So I just have to wait 40 days and I'll have the political power. Or I could go political reform and wait 70 days and I would have it. That seems to be more efficient. If I go political reform, I have to wait 70 days and then it works. That seems to be a bit smarter, I think. We're going to go political reform. There we go. Wait, wait, and then we'll wait 70 days, so two and a half months, and then we'll get War Economy. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're just going to massively increase our values. Um, I'm also being suggested by my stream that I should, in fact, uh, not... I should take the... Uh, oh, I, I do actually need that the North Sea oil, because I am actually importing oil right now. So I'm definitely going to want to do that, because I am importing oil. I'll do that later on, however. Okay. Wreck some face. Yay. Just gotta wait a few months, guys. It's no big deal. Awesome. 
Any rebellion risk anywhere? Nope, we're good. So we get a few factories, which is really nice. Actually, a lot of factories, so that's good. I'm very pleased with this. Of course, they are. The, the thing is that they're mostly civilian factories. Ireland doesn't seem to have many mill factories. I think Dublin does have some military, though. That's going to help. And look at the resources we're gaining. <laughs> Three steel. Wow. So good. So we're going to sit here pretty and uh, just wait a little bit. I also kind of want to start training armor brigades. These armor divisions, too. Yeah, these armor brigades look like they could be a little bit smarter. Yeah, we could do this. So we'll chuck an extra tank in there. And I mean, I think the idea is I'm going to replace them with a light mechanized. And... Or instead of a light mechanized, I could just have one mechanized, couldn't I? Replace it with just like a normal mechanized. I suppose I could then go... Hmm, no, I still need four. And so basically I could just go one more light mechanized. Awesome, so light mechanized. So basically these ones are much heavier, much stronger in general. They just still require quite a lot of supplies. Ah, oh, I don't have enough military, army experience to do that. That's okay. Really do not want the support anti-air though. Let's get rid of one of these light mechanized. And uh, one of these mechanized. Oh, no, one of these light mechanized as well. Perfect. And so then it only costs 20. Just going to take a little while to get there. Just a little while. All right, let's do this. Uh, it takes a long time. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait, we'll wait to do the British thing. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Just got to wait for the focus to finish. So in 40 days time. And then we will get War Economy. And then we'll take Dublin. And so the difference currently between uh, partial mobilization and War Economy is... Consumer goods, 10% less consumer goods factories, which is freaking awesome. Construction speed goes up by... And, oh, that's it. And construction speed goes up by 10%. And Germany... Brazil won five World Cups in a row. Goodness me. It's just that it's that 10% war uh, fact, military factor construction speed and the 10% civilian goods thing that I really, really want, you know. I just desperately need that in my life. I'm going to basically be able to build loads of military factories and empower myself like crazy. Plus, when you combine that with the factors I've gained from Ireland, it's all gravy, baby. It is all gravy. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to try and reinstate the, the British hegemony of the world. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Hurry up. Guys, it's going to be done in 29 days. It's almost going to be actually finished here. Jesus. Am I actually going to get gonna get it before the political reform is actually finished? Son of a bitch. At least we're getting a bit of experience. We're obviously going to go mobile infantry now because we use a lot of mechanized... Make sure we're not actually invading Dublin by accident. Alright, let's do this. Apparently, Gody just gave me an episode title. Uh, make America make make America British again. This is a possibility. I like this. It's a possible episode title. <laughs> I like that. Hey, any viewers, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me. I'm, of course, recording this for YouTube and putting this up on my YouTube channel, which you'll see eventually. Probably about a week's time from when I record this. Are you done yet? Oh, we can do it now. Oh my god, I actually finished it before I even needed it. I didn't even need to go political reform, so we get war economy. There we go. Dunzo. Hey, take all states. End turn. Nice. British Empire took three states. Yes, we did. Ireland is ours. Okay, so we've just gained uh, some factories. So we have, yeah, a lot. We have 33 total factories now. Civilian factories, so many civilian factories. Yes, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So that's what we're going to do with this is we're basically just going to start building a shit ton of military factories. And then I'm also going to build uh, nuki doodles everywhere. Oh my god, I'm excited. So excited. Uh, so let's get North Sea oil because we're going to need a lot of the oil that's going on right there. Uh, what do I need? I need some rubber again. Look at this. We're building lots of motorized, lots of mechanized, some tanks. Bitchin'. 
2.21 mecha uh, mechanized a day and 10 motorized a day. How long for that deficit to deplete? 230 days? We're actually going to build so much stuff. Awesome. Friendly with Indonesia. Uh, I think me and Indonesia are chill. It could be better, but alright. It's fine. Invade them. If I invade them, they will join NATO in like four seconds if I do that, man. Like, easily without, in like four seconds. Yeah, Wales is, Wales is a very, very tiny country. Sorry, guys, so what I'm doing is I'm reading, on YouTube, I'm reading uh, individual messages from my stream chat. Sometimes I don't read them aloud very well because I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, yes. Give me your factories. Look at that. So basically, we're just building an absolute ton of factories right now. Um, awesome. So decryption and... Let's get some encryption. I think, to be honest, I probably should be trying to put these ones a little bit higher. Yeah, because I think, I think getting some nukes is going to be a very good idea. I did indeed hit my mic, Gaming Nights. I do that sometimes because I'm a dum-dum. So we'll get factories and also nuke machines. Yes. So we're going to get a lot of factories, by the way, guys. Our factory construction speed is super fast now. Within a year's time, I predict we're going to basically be churning out equipment. However, it's the population that's a problem. I mean, we are going to be able to go to limited conscription, which is going to actually give us three times the recruitable population we currently have. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be three times we have, so our total will become something like 780 total thousand, basically. Meaning we're going to have an extra 500,000. Um, extensive conscription is going to be a lot better. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're finally starting to get some real strength, though. We also have a lot of... We're going to be building a lot of nukes. I think what the reason we're going to be able to do that is basically it means we're going to be able to invade America like crazy. Or invade people in general. Catgirl has just joined my stream. Welcome to stream, Catgirl. I'm indeed, I am recording this for the YouTube, so I will sometimes be speaking without replying to Twitch chat. All right. Done a really big binge of recording stuff. I don't know if you record episodes of a new series like this. I'm this is on the fifth episode of recording at the same time. You can always tell what I uh, do in between sessions of recording uh, on my YouTube channel because obviously I like change my hair or my, my, my clothing or the light changes. Or like a new Patreon tier image comes up on the side. Yep, going to be nuking lots of people. Nuking Paris. Nuking everybody, basically. Oh, yes. The thing is with nukes is that you want to drop them to reduce national unity. But the thing is, is that I don't want to drop them on capital. The best place to drop them is on capitals, obviously, because it reduces the most national unity. But if I, if I can take them very easily, there's no reason to do that. So I can take Paris incredibly easily. Like, you land here and just nick it. It's best to nuke, like, Marseille. Berlin's a bit harder, but you can still land over there. So we're building up a lot of naval power as well, which is great. Getting those nukes. I can't wait until I actually get to invade America. That'd be so good. But I'd like it if maybe these guys start leaving NATO. Anytime a power starts to leave NATO is when I will be very, very happy. So we... we Oh, we have a surplus. Do we? Why do I have a surplus? What do I need? Oh, that was weird. North Sea oil. Yes. Hey, so we don't need any oil now. Thank you very much. Let's get a new focus. Um, so because I think it'd be a good idea to start going dockyards because we'd also get that extra research slot, which would be really good for us. And then we're going to want to start heading down towards restoring the Raj, but also British armed forces. That would be bitching. Let's do that. All right. The thing is, though, um, <laughs> is as Britain, we have as long as we maintain na a naval dominance, we're actually going to have a lot of strength because they can't really stop us. Because Europe, unless we get onto Europe, they can't touch us. So what we could do is just invade the U.S. and Mexico and all that. Like, why not, right? And obviously Canada and the U.S. will need to be dealt with together. But this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. New viewers, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. What is up, my friends? Oh, we have new text we could be getting. Uh, don't really want any of that shit. I guess we could get radar stations. Don't really need though. Yeah, so I want to see the radioactive glow from across the seas. Beautiful. What else do I want? Um, there's not really any more advisors I want, because these guys kind of suck, to be honest. They basically all suck. 
Materialist designer is a possibility, but I'm not really researching a lot of stuff, to be honest. Ah, however, industrial concern gives me 5% factory output, so that's pretty good. Yes. Hello, new viewers on my stream. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. My stream will be going on for about as long as this recording goes on for about another 5 minutes or 10 minutes. We'll see what happens. I'm going to stream for a little bit longer as well. So, we're kicking some butt. We're doing well. We're actually getting like a lot of troops recruited as well, which is what's so good. We are, of course, on quite low manpower, but that's alright. So I can now start to produce better armored brigades. So these ones are definitely going to be what we want instead. Um, so we want to add a modern tank. And I think I want to start replacing these bad boys with mechanized. Basically, I don't think I need motorized at all, to be honest. Obviously, their organization is pretty decent, but so is these guys. So let's just replace them with light mechanized. And then we have basically a really strong... Oh, wait, no. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? No. Basically, we need to add a bunch to here. So let's just let's just try it again. Replace mechanized infantry and then light mechanized. We need six more. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, we need tanks. So that's a possibility. Ah, nope. Never mind. Damn, damned. Ah, we could replace this motorized and put him all the way into mechanized. Yes, there we go. So basically, we now have two mechanized and one light mechanized and three tanks. Basically making them a ridiculously powerful, nice, gigantic armies. Uh, so main battle tanks, I am very low. Mechanized would be low. Yeah, but this is fine. That's kind of what we want with our armored brigades. It's going to be a nice, strong offensive. I like it. Save that. Boop. It's going to kill me with regards to production, but... Yeah, look at that. My mech... It, it's just so low now. That's alright. We're building motorized like crazy. I think maybe too much motorized, to be honest. Because I don't, I don't need this much motorized. Holy Jesus Christ. Um, so my infantry brigade is obviously my main one, so we're going to add some motorized here. We have two mechanized and one light mechanized, so we're going to add some more mobile dudes. Ah, oh, I don't have the experience for it. Damn it. Mechanized is super expensive, Yeriko. I know what you mean. But it's the best way to do it. Part of me kind of wants to maybe change this to light mechanized. So basically with our infantry brigade, the plan is to make these guys motorized. Kind of want to maybe change this. If I could, could I replace one of the mechanized with a light mechanized? No. It's just the best thing to do. I think this is the best thing. All right. So we're going to keep getting this. Uh, I really want air superiority. I also really want some more ships. I think one thing I should be doing is I should be building an absolute ton of um, naval dockyards as well. I think that's definitely something I should be doing. This is obviously going to mean I'm going to be making so much mechanized, it's not even funny. But, what are you going to do? Is there a way I could maybe make it so mechanized doesn't cost so much? Just to make, like, reduce production or something? Because this is killing me, man. Ba, 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 ba. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. That's okay. I think we're going to be all right, though. We just have to keep the mechanized production going. We need to build up a reserve of several hundred, several tens of thousands before we start any fights. Our light mechanized is fine. Our motorized is now too much, I think. Wait, what? Why do we have so many light tanks? I'm not even using light tanks. Get the fuck out. So let's start adding, let's add even more mechanized here. A part of me really does want to change this the way around, though, because it's got two mechanized and one light mechanized. Can I maybe make this just a light mechanized? Ah, oh, but then it's a really weird balance. Ah, there we go. So that could work. So I get one mechanized, two light mechanized, and... or no, So one mechanized, three light mechanized, and one motorized. God, that's expensive. Ah. <sighs> Being told I should go to war with NATO. I don't want to do that just yet because it's a bit too early. 
It just adds so much light mechanized. I was hoping to maybe make this a bit cheaper. If we get rid of that and just basically make them so that they're just motorized. I can't decide. If we make them they're just motorized, it still requires 200 mechanized. But it might be better to just have a load of light mechanized and less motorized. I say these words so often now, I don't even know what they are. Motorized, mechanized, mechanized, motorized, motorized. I literally don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Who am I, honestly? So that's pretty good. That might be alright. It's a lot of light mechanized. But it's less mechanized I have to deal with. And it's it should be okay. I think I do like that more. I think that's going to be my main division now. With light mechanized like crazy. Oh, but they're not as strong. But they're going to be faster and more numerous. I'm not even sure I have the population to sustain that, to be honest. No, screw this. I don't have the population to sustain that. Fuck this. Let's just go with the mechanized, mechanized, mechanized guys. There we are. Dockyards. How's my navy doing? Cool. We got one missile cruiser, three, three light cruisers, 14 destroyers, and 25 subs. Love it. Keep going, lads. Keep going. Apparently, we are short on chromium. Fine. Be this way. Eh. I definitely want to start getting a little bit more nukes, but I think I want to get more of these first. Yes. I want to start working on... Hang on, no, wait. Let's, just, let's let this one finish, at least, for God's sakes. Let's let this factory finish. Then we'll go down... We'll have the dockyards be up, up ahead, and it'll be a bit better. Alright, awesome. Just had another viewer come back to my stream. Money's worth. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. However, I am going to end the episode of recording here as soon as these guys finish the 17th of December. It's been a really fun time so far. Um, we've conquered in Ireland, and we basically have managed to form the entirety of the British monarchy. So we're kicking some real serious butt, guys. It is looking really good. So make sure you do check out the other series I have on my channel. As well as that, you can also find my Patreon uh, in the description if you want to support my channel even more so. Oh my, I need, nu I need nukes so bad. And alongside that, do be sure to leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of my series so far. And also what you think I should be doing differently. If you think I should be, you know, not be being terrible. Let's move that up. And any advice you have is always intensely appreciated. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I was Alger Hill, and I'll continue to be. And this has been some Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn, playing some delightful Great British Empire. Bye-bye.